I got that. Remember that text I got to come here? And you know, the, you mean the, 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 the obvious trap? Yeah. Well, it's it's not a trap if you know you're walking into one. It's still a tra- no. It's still a trap. It's you just be prepared for it. You know, you then, just, then, you, then you can make it your trap. No, it just means you get a bonus to your saving throw. Our wisdom flow says sweet taste and see, transmit, initiate erudition signal, receive, initiate the preservation instinct. It belongs in a museum. Illumine the mind palace. Witness the British Museum of the Occult. That was a surprisingly lowbrow reference for the bees. Really? Have you, have you not been paying that much attention to them? They all they make their references are all over the map. Like I know, but I mean article. the last the last one was, was William Butler Ye- Yeats, and now we're going to Illumina Indiana Jones. Um, that's a little creepy. Oh, that's you. That's me. Those are horses, and but that's you. That's me. And you're wearing the same clothes. That I am. How did they know? I Why are you don't. so tall? I'm, I'm, ah! I'm, hey, was was that oh. the statue? Ah! That's this. Guy. It's creepy Watson. No, he's not. He's not creepy Watson. If he was creepy Watson, he would just show up wherever I was looking. Get around. Huh. Wait. I see he's still there. Yeah. Let's uh. Egypt, huh? Yeah, I was going to say, though, like, if you and that statue were into auto... Okay, I'm stopping you right there. Go up on yourself. Uh, what part am I stopping you right... Oh, okay, never mind. (laughs) What what are those? I don't know, let's see... Okay, cycle the drug. Localized in New England. Or. The reanimated. Let's go cycle the drug. I think that'd be useful. Yeah. Okay. The Uh. piece of paper I was holding just exploded into confetti. And the door... Okay. This is a little extra there. I mean, all that confetti for an empty room? Yeah. Okay, well, there are some nice paintings there. Okay. Interesting. Are they giving you this museum and then making you find exhibits for it apparently yes that's the trap they want me to they want me to work for them for free i knew it was a trap an insidious one at that it's a cool building though i mean you could throw a really really sweet party in here maybe okay well that was pointless little diversion At least there's no micro payments. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So I'm just gonna go back to uh, the Agartha portal. I've wasted enough time in London for now. Yeah. And. Lawn Done. What? In the exotic realm of Lawn Done. Are you doing a bit? I was trying to. May need to workshop it a bit. <sighs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, um, they redecorated. Uh, they don't. They're not even hiding the snow machine. It's oh, God. It's fake snow. Oh, oh. That's a joking hazard. 
If I die, I'm going to be very upset. What do you think would kill you first? You know, the suffocation or the poisoning? Suffocation. Yeah. yeah, you're right. Poison is a lot more of a slow death. I don't even... Where am I? I do not know. I feel like I should be scared by this, but I'm not. Yeah. So I feel like this place, place is weird. Should be disturb. Should be scary to me, but it's not. Am I just becoming jaded? Um. Could you turn a little to the right? Okay. Here. No, no, no. You're the right. Go. Okay, there's a lighthouse. I'm gonna look up a bit. Yeah. Oh god damn it. You're in a haunted amusement park. Again, this feels like something that should scare me. How much Scooby Doo have you watched? A lot. Yeah, kinda. kinda makes it easier to take when it's just a guy in a suit, isn't it? So, ah, he's psych Psycho Carney. Have they been here the whole time? What is up with this place? Of course they're here. I mean, Psycho Carney's just... They migrate with the, t with, with the carnival. It's like seagulls or coconuts. Right. Really? Nothing? No Nothing. No, no, no laughter. No. Why well, was six... I mean, I... I mean, I, I think was, I should. I feel like it should be funny, but really, really, because like I was not expecting laughter. I was expecting anger. Well, it'd be fun. I'd be angry that I laughed at it. That's normally the way I react. But uh, ugh. <laughs> that actually was kind of funny. I think you got some <laughs> color in your cheeks, Beth. I mean, I think. What you is, got... Okay, what the fuck is up with that place? It's a haunted amusement park, Debbie. Those. That's what they do. They suck the emotion out of you? Well. Yes. I mean, like, what do you go to an amusement park for? You go to, like, feel heightened emotion. But, yeah, this. And, and like, maybe when, when the amusement park dies, the feelings die. That's so creepy. That. I mean, that's halfway to me bullshitting you. And halfway to me just trying to figure this shit out. <laughs> I can't believe it. It's just... Weird. And I'm just... So, I saw that one burning. And it gave me an idea. Maybe I can, like, get rid of these corpses. And I'll nope. get rid of... The and the zombies will uh, leave them alone. But I mean, we we tried burning once. But that didn't work. Oh no, no! I was burning the zombies. This is burning their food. Okay. Sure. And um, what's up with that? That looks ominous. It's like, how much more black could it be? I don't know. Special assignment received. Initializing. The answer is none. None more black. Scanning. They require no rest. Feel no pain. They only walk and kill. No heartbeat. No brain function. They are not organisms run on vital systems. Their bodies can take tremendous trauma before being disabled. Human flesh states their hunger above all. Yet those that starve will prey on animals. Other undead hold no interest to them. Those imbued with anima enjoy some protection from their infected bites. So that me. That's me. I think that is you, yes. And so that should solve the zombie problem. Forever. Forever. And ever and ever and ever. I don't think it worked. Nope, they're right they're right back where you found them.
Well, you tried. I gave it a shot. You 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 yeah, tried. Give me give me give me a star. I tried. That'll be my tombstone. You, she tried. What an ironic death. Hey. I'm a puppy. Go get a puppy. And a big puppy. A little oh, puppy and a big puppy. Look at a big puppy. Look at the puppies. No, no, that's a pupper and the other one's a doggo. Well, well, a pupper is just is just a little doggo. And a, pup, <laughs> and a, and a do, doggo is just a big pupper. And they're all good boys. Or girls. <laughs> they're all good dogs, Dobie. <laughs> There is so much going on here. Let's talk to John Wolf and see what he has to say. Oh, of course he's John Wolf, so he's got to have an actual wolf. Come, come on. Hey, Debbie Fish, why don't you carry a fish with you at all times? <laughs> when I was a kid, we built a treehouse out of scavenged wood. Lasted one long summer before the autumn wind. That's a oddly party. disturbing picture. Had time for my it first is. kiss up there. Mm, sweet as August apples. Uh. A fallen blossom never returns to the branch. But you only lose what you cling to. There's a tree house north of here. Built to last decades, solid as the oak it's in. Kids who built it were part of a club. Called themselves... The League of Monster Slayers, without a hint of irony. Because that's exactly what they were. See, the window between worlds has always been open a crack on this island. Things would sometimes uh, slip through. Kids knew that. They feared it. But they still wanted to fight it. So they built the clubhouse as a lookout, a library, a base of operations. Been there for decades, Red tells me. Kids would grow into adults, pass the torch and the key to younger generations, so it went. The League abided, as did the treehouse, until now. Forest around the treehouse is alive and deadly. I found out the hard way. Almost got myself killed. Seems the Akab are particularly fond of that spot. The what or then? they want to keep us out. Perhaps the kids kept something in the treehouse. Something the moths are afraid of. I wouldn't underestimate the League. Before the mountain and by the grace of nature, I was allowed oh, to God. realize... Can you just disappear up your own ass already? I'm only a child. Club I was part of didn't fight monsters or practice magic. Are you still magic. talking? But we did practice other things that long. Hot summer. Okay, I don't oh, want to hear this part. Wow. All right. So nope. mostly we just talked about. That's the part. The that's the part that doesn't get into the but movie version. That was almost. Yep. <laughs> you, you all know what's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. The black house still stands. No one wants to tear it down. No one wants to pick at the scab of their guilt. They covered up with stories of wicked witchcraft. We listen as the sweet children sing the name Carrie Killian and their jump rope rhymes the way they used to sing about the Black Plague. Ashes, ashes, we all fall down. That wasn't even a reference. Hmm. I think I'll witness that later. Our wisdom flows so sweet. Taste and see. Transmit, initiate New England signal. Receive, initiate adolescent frequency. Keep out of reach of children. Initiate the Pinky Promise Protocol. Witness the League of Monster Slayers. So. Okay, what is that? that. Oh, God. It's like a moth and a bear had a kid. Oh! Whoa, Whoa! That's fast. 
man. Good. F oh god, look at it. What the hell? It is has teeth in its gills. What the fuck? Those are human teeth. You see that? Those little, little tentacle things. There are so many things that are disturbing about that. Oh man, I bet fighting those things is just the worst thing in the world. Oh god, I hope I don't have to fight too many of these things. I hope they're not just infesting this woods everywhere you go. Are those the moss that he was talking about? Probably. When two mangled children were found near Miss Cleon's house, it was too late. The torches, the mob, the attempts to frighten away, warped by the compiling misunderstandings, the roar of the fire out of control, the screams of a woman, the shocked silence of a mob that sees hell reflected in the flames. Miss Killian, huh? Hmm. Seems like she's got a, st a story behind her. What is this stuff? It's don't, Paul saying. Don't touch it. Okay. Another of these guys. Black magic and pestilence are revenants' weapons. They wield sharp weapons covered in putrescence or poison. Escape is difficult, for they leap great distances, crawl up walls, turn into terrible swarms, and squeeze through the narrowest of cracks. Destruction is arduous. A revenant can reform from the smallest of fragments and the poison of their blood and minds infects everything around them with their eldritch disease. So, basically, don't fucking touch. I'm pretty sure my anima gives me protection from that. Well, yeah, but I mean, you're still gonna need, like, five showers. I have my own shower, and that is very important. I'm getting that impression, yes. I have my own shower is very important to me. It's just, it's, it's just, everyone has a thing, you know? Well, that's fair. I'm like, Golden Boy likes toilets. Yeah. Okay, that's more than I wanted to know about you and your shower. No, no, that, it's an anime. I know, uh, I'm familiar with it. Hence my reaction. <laughs> I actually met the guy who did Kintaro's voice. Really? Yeah. Nice guy. But he was like, really low rent anime convention. He was the only one they could get. Okay, come back here. Okay, well I'll wait for you to come. I'll wait for you to come back then. You'll be. A, you'll come back to me. They always come back. Okay, so where is this treehouse? Look up, Debbie. Oh. Well. Okay. Oh god, this is this just gets worse and thicker the deeper I go. You think this was here when No, you, you mean no, Actually, do this you think, is new. Do you think though that these things have been here before the fog? I mean I don't know where they would have come from otherwise. Yikes. Where would... But well, I was thinking where would they be, but then again, we where know did, this town... This town is, like, riddled with tunnels and caves. And, I think what we're asking is where did they come from? Where would they go? Where did they come from, Cotton Eye Joe? No. We're not asking. We're asking at least two of those. Okay, these guys are a little, little, all over the place. I mean, kids, right? Okay, you come back here. Come no. back here and take your medicine. Boom, there you go. Oh, shh. I 
not like the one with the run running from me. Okay, so let's see what's mm. up. Let's see what's up this treehouse. That is a long ladder. That is not safe at all. That, that is. Well, they're kids. They don't do anything safe. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I miss being a kid. Yeah, me It was so much easier. It was. Didn't have to work or pay taxes. Not that we pay taxes. I haven't paid them in years. Well, you weren't making many money. Well, that's true. <sighs> but now the taxes pay us.